Oh, this is yours truly, Hidden Angel Lionheart. Yes, uh, I shaved the beard, as you all can see. It's, um, well, it looks a little bit better. Anyway, I just need to clear the, the elephant in the room with something. That apparently, that was addressed to my attention by not only Reaper, but also Relic, which was a Facebook sent message. Uh, according to such, such sources, and I saw the video as proof, People are going around saying that my tune apparently belongs to Gabby, which is not the truth. She has been piloting because I've been gone for absence reasons. She's been helping me. Now, besides all that, I came to be aware of the whatever freaking glitch she sent my mage from 1.4 mil to 1.5 mil. So I'm thinking to myself, how is that even ethically possible due to the fact one I don't hack all of you know this two I don't use pots which is what I'm thinking is what she's using and three y'all are a bunch of idiots if you believe that that tune is hers which it's not and plus she even had my permission to feature my mage in some of her videos which I'm perfectly fine with I have no problem with her showing off the 80s mage because one Purifier is still the top mage in the 80s, non-class advanced, so what you all talking about? <laughs> and then you have freaking Evil Eye Relic, top archer in 80s on top of um, Mr. Strife, of course. He's like the second best archer. And then, well, actually, in all theoretic, theoretically speaking, Karthrick Luffy is still, or Monkey D. Luffy is still the best archer in my opinion because he topped a million without having to get an Odin. Or Loki. So, props to you, Luffy. Ha <laughs> Shout out to you, brother. Um, and so forth. You guys have seen I've been posting videos again. I just got the game back again because I'm just like, I really just need to come back. I miss being in the game. I miss making videos for you guys. And you're probably wondering where I'm walking. This is where I live, in the middle of the freaking woods. Yes. On the mountain hillside of Wheeling, West, good old Wheeling, West Virginia. <sighs> right now, until at least I get moved to Georgia, which you all have been kind of aware about that, I guess. And um, also, another life update. I have a girlfriend! And, well, apparently she has been a, had a crush on me since my first year at Brook County 4-H camp, which I did not expect to happen, because I never get a crush. If I do, it's like... Uh, in the moment kind of thing, it's like, oh, they find a new crush. So it's just like, never have I ever been in that category. And no, I'm not saying her name, because if you guys have seen any of my recent videos, she did comment on some of them. So if anyone sees the comment of such person with a K, yeah, that's her. She's cool. She's chill. I'm still trying to get her into the war tune. I'm still trying to teach her Yu-Gi-Oh, which we've been kind of procrastinating. <laughs> but I got her into Wiz. And that's another thing I was going to mention was I'm thinking about maybe attempting to do Wiz videos because I know a lot of you are mostly Wartoon viewers and I know the Wiz videos didn't get hardly anything. Mainly because I don't have the correct amount of internet to upload videos through a computer and I don't really know how to record on a computer. Yes, I suck. For a guy who uploads videos mobilely, I don't know how to do it computer-wise. Ah! I'm stupid. Funny on funny. Um... And then, this leads me without saying, I don't know, a lot of you are probably going to be giving me the WTF icons and, like, TF's wrong with you, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm just going to clear the room on something, because I know you guys have heard me preach about this and talk about this particular topic person who is a sore spot for me in most cases, maybe because, one, I know I'm not as good as him yet, unfortunately. Yes, I'm admitting it. I'm not as good as him as much as I want to be. <sighs> but according to Gabby, she thrashes him every time, which it's whatever. And every time it gets mentioned, she gets heat. It's like, come on, guys. Have a little self-pride to not be such a douche. Because honestly, if you're just going to be a douche, I can't respect you for anything. Unless it's like casual trash talking where if we're friends with each other, we call every name in the book, every slur, every insult, every offensive word to, known to man in any language. We're just going to sit back and laugh about like what the crap was wrong with us or what were we thinking? <laughs> um, 
I made a comment to Bass about something, and he thought it was hilarious because of how the topic was brought up. But I kind of made the insinuation, and I know he's probably going to be watching this video because I'm going to be sending this to Bass and Relic. Uh, if Goat wasn't such a jackass, I'd probably like the guy. Honestly. Or as they would say, Harambe, or it's probably Hamarcus, or Jamarcus, it's Harambe. Not Harambe. I'm probably going to get, I'm going to get shots fired at for that, but I don't care. I feel good about it. But, yeah, and that's another big reason, just, I'm tired of the drama, I'm tired of the BS, and every, all of you know, I have worked my butt off, literally for the last few years, to make my mage as strong as he is, to become the most powerful, strongest, cross, well, non-class advanced server, cross out through arena, and BG, to have everyone know, hey, this guy worked his butt off from the ground up to become better. He thrashed the best 50s players. He thrashed the best 60s players. Can't really vouch for 40s because I didn't really face a lot of 40s yet. Or back then. Um, besides the time before BR was a big thing. And you could wear basically legendary equipment. And you can thrash everybody in 40s. Just like, no questions asked. And, um, it's like I worked hard on my mage, and I don't, and this is probably the main reason I get so ticked off at GOAT, honestly, and I'm speaking sincerely here, I can't, I can't talk about this just to talk about it, I talk about it if I'm being serious or if I'm actually being sentimental and sincere, I can't be a douche when I talk about something like this, it, it's... Well, there's a stuttering. That, that's the point right there. I'm very honest, very blunt, and I am just straight up to the point. No questions asked. We can joke every now and then, but don't, don't diss my mage, okay? Don't diss me and don't diss my mage. Don't mock me. Do not mock my mage. Especially considering when I tried to be his friend when we were in the same line group for the longest time, Cutie Patooties War Tune, which I have no idea who thought of that name. Um, no, no complaints though. Um, I tried befriending him, tried being his friend. He ignored me every time. It's like, hey, how are you? What you doing? How you doing? When I'd see him in BG, I'd say hi. And for the most part, I think the main reason well, this is just my speculation. He got so mad at me is because I would thrash his mage in BG when I didn't even know it was his mage. And then he changed teams, and I'm much like, why did that knight just switch teams? And then he goes to say, this was my mage, by the way. Like, how was I supposed to know it was named something completely different on top of what your knight's name is, you douche? Like, that's honestly the main reason that just kind of ticked me off besides the point. I know people are cocky. But, I can be cocky, I will be honest, again, I'm a prideful person, but I'm in the wrong, I admit to it. And, it's just, I'm just, I'm just really tired of the drama. That's the main reason why I've not been in the game. Because every time I am, and every time he knows I'm back, he freaking hits me in Battleground all the time, which, Battleground are going to get hit, so, I really don't even know why I'm complaining on that note. Or, not complaining, just stating a fact. I mean, I'll accept the challenge. I'll smack talk back and forth and then laugh about it. But don't say something you know is going to tee me off. Or peeve me off. Which, of course, you guys know I never cuss in my videos. Because, again, YouTube is... Well, I'll, I'll leave my opinion out. You already know what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> um, just, yeah. And plus, on top of that, I'm also thinking about maybe doing music stuff on my channel. I don't know if I said that already. I know I said, mentioned something with the Wiz things, but I know that doesn't get a lot of views until I get proper computer stuff, so... I don't know. But the music stuff I'm thinking about doing, because the last few nights, me and my girlfriend have been hanging out with each other and just staying at each other's houses. We would just have a lot of in-depth conversations. And, like, this video is very wide-ranged. Like... 
squirrel vision just kicked in like blue. <laughs> um, but um, oh, anyways, I was saying, last few nights we've been staying with each other. We just have a lot of talks about just life, just things we've been through, things we've had to deal with to get where we are. Then if anybody knows the group in sync, I hope to God you guys know who in sync is, because if you don't, I'm a smack y'all. <laughs> Not literally, metaphorically speaking. Um, ugh, I had to adjust my glasses. I'm sweaty. Um, there's a song by them called... Actually, no, they covered it from an old country artist. I can't remember his name for the life of me. Um, might have been George Strait. I don't know. Might not have been. I'm sure a few people have. But they covered it in their own way. And it's a really good song. And it does hit heart feels. Um, the song is called God Must Have Spent a Little More Time on You. And the main reason I played that song for her. I actually sang that song to her, believe it or not. Um, is because of what we've talked about. What we've dealt with and had similar things happen to us, how we were treated, how we were raised, the people we knew personally and how they changed. It just left us out as like the black sheep of the groups. It's, you can really understand a lot about somebody when they've been treated poorly and wrong. It's just, you can just tell from people's body language, how they talk, how they act, even people in a game for frick's sake. Um, there can be, you can be talking a certain way, hiding behind a screen, acting like whatever, but there's some people that can read between the lines, and I am one of those people that can read between the lines, and so forth. Gout, if you're watching this, stop being a friggin' douche. Seriously, I know you have a reputation for being a douche, but the drama's gotta stop. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop smack-talking you, but if I see you in BG... D-B-A-D. Don't be a... Yeah. The four-letter word that starts with a D and ends with a K. Now, therefore... Or the short term used in whiz, everyone used to say was, don't be a deck. Take out the E and add the I. Yeah, don't be a deck. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm tired of it. Everyone's going to have snobs to deal with. And I can read between the lines. There are some snobs I've come across in frickin' Battlegrounds, and I come to terms to shut their mouth up. I have, and there's a lot of people that don't like me because I have shut them up. Like, oh, you want to talk smack? Why don't you come here and I'll throw, you, I'll, I'll smack you around a little bit. Uh, <sighs> but, anywho, I only live a mile down the road from where I work. No, working now. Um, that's going to be a video for another topic at some point in time because of wrongful termination. Is all I'm gonna say for right now. I might, might talk about as to what happened at my last job I was at. You guys have known that I was at. And um, not making as much here. I'm not getting the kind of hours I used to work before. Still bummed out a little bit about it, but hey, the people are cool. And it's one shift, so it's not that bad. Plus, I get to pick the days I want to have off, which is also kind of nice. Um, so, anywho, ah, shoot, um, shoot, what else was I going to say? Well, I think this has been a little update video for y'all, and, um, Wiz videos are being considered, again, uh, s music dash singing-ish videos are being considered again. And, yeah, you can expect the War Team videos. Those are going to keep coming sometime here soon. i got to make another video on my night, which I might attempt at some point later tonight when I get off work, which is going to be like super freaking late, unless labor's bad and they start sending people home, which has been a thing here of late. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is yours truly, Hit Ninja Lionheart, signing off, and hope you guys enjoyed the video.